Today, from Lake Betts in Mooresville, North Carolina, we're going to take out the Canon R8 with the Canon RF 200-800 to see if it's any good for bird photography. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Phil with Photo Gear Fun here today back at Lake Betts. It's a beautiful crisp morning here. We're going to take out the Canon R8 with the RF 200-800, see how it does for bird photography. It's a 24 megapixel sensor. It's kind of their entry level, Canon's entry level full frame. Let's see how it does with this 200-800 and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to try something different today. Doing a little POV shooting. There's a tree swallow there. I heard the kingfisher earlier. He's around. This is kind of the first area where usually oh, there's a Redhead woodpecker out there. You see those? Oh, those are flickers actually. Let's see. Like a pair of flickers out there. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see this. I'll show you the pictures. That swallow just chilling out. But in this area here, you'll see a lot of, a lot of different birds, a lot of woodpeckers. I saw the bluebirds, starlings, flickers, pileated woodpeckers. I'll grab one more shot of that tree swallow. Then I'm gonna head on in search of the wood duck and the herons. Let's see what we can find. There's a few Canada geese out there, a great blue heron in the distance. Yeah, this is a pretty good, pretty good little lake. There's two sides, so this is what I call the lake side. And then there's the swamp side, and there's the kingfisher. And those are ruddy ducks, which normally don't stay here this long. And hopefully you can see that. All right, let's see if we can track down that kingfisher. And this is the area where we believe that wood ducks are nesting see all the, well you probably can't see it, but a bunch of turtles out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I saw two green herons here yesterday, so hopefully they're still around. Let's see the red-winged blackbirds. And hopefully those wood ducks will show themselves. A bunch of nesting birds here. Brown-headed nuthatch is nesting. So we're gonna continue on and see if we can't find some interesting things. All right, so this is one of my favorite spots to hang out. Usually see lots of stuff here. There's a Canada goose and a little nap. It's been pretty quiet this morning. I think I saw a couple of little warblers that are migratory here. But we'll have to keep our eyes open. I don't see the heron. This is the area where I saw the heron yesterday. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit. See what happens by, and then there's one more spot I like to go to. Let's see, you can see all the, well, maybe you can't see them very well, but there are turtles everywhere here. And the swallows don't seem to be as active today as they were yesterday. Barn swallows, tree swallows. Yeah, of course I take out <laughs> the camera for video and there's no birds, that's the way it goes, I guess. But we'll hang out and see, maybe that kingfisher will show up. I'm gonna move on to the next spot and we'll see what, what we have over there. That's where I saw the kill deer yesterday, so I'm hoping the kill deer is still around. Let's see what happens. All right, there was somebody at my spot, of course. Again, I take out the camera. Things happen, that's, I guess we adapt. So heading down the trail here is the lakeside and then this side is just marshy kind of swampy area not a lot of water but warblers do tend to hang out around this corner this video is coming from the osmo pocket 3 the audio is coming from the dji mic 2 so i've got the osmo attached to the hot shoe of the camera you can see the lens that canon 200 to 800 when fully extended really sticks out but so far the R8 seems to be doing pretty well. I'm gonna go around here to what I call Warbler Corner. 
Let's see if I can see anything. I saw a couple of eagles here yesterday too. So let's see what the morning brings. I'm a little bit late this morning. It was a little chilly. Got a late start, but you never know what will happen at good old Lake Betts. So let's see if we can find some warblers. So there is a Carolina red. There's a black and white warbler. No, that is the yellow rope. But there's that wren singing this song. Happy as can be on a beautiful day. Carolina wren. Pretty little bird. You always see ruby crown kinglets around here too. Like to hang out in these pine trees as the wren continues to serenade. So let me. Let me see that spot where I normally go is uh, somebody was there. Let's see if they're gone. I'll check back in and see if we can't find some more birds. All right, so we're set up in the spot. You can see behind me, red winged blackbirds. Got the active track going on the Osmo. Let's grab a shot of that. Those blackbirds over there. See the beautiful red wings on this one. It's fairly sunny out here, but even still in that ISO 800, shutter speed of 1 800th, it was not hatch. Yeah, so this lens is F9 when you're all the way out. Not necessarily the greatest aperture, but on a day like today, we should be fine. I'll put the specs on the camera. 24 megapixel. I always use mechanical shutter, so mechanical shutter is not right for everybody. I just like it more. I don't have to worry about rolling shutter. Rolling shutter is not too bad on this camera. I still just like to use mechanical shutter and I might miss some shots, but that's okay. This is my, one of my favorite spots. <laughs> you can hear the blackbirds singing away. Saw the killed deer here yesterday. Come on, pork your head up. We'll see nut hatches here, and tree swallows. Yeah, pretty quiet. Pretty quiet morning, starting to get windy. Hopefully that, that tripod holds up. I've got it actually on a Benro monopod. You can kind of see behind me. You can probably hear the wind a little bit in the mic, but yeah. So far, not a bad, <coughs> excuse me, not a bad morning, but you never know. So it's, uh, I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit, turn off the video, see what we can get. And once we're done in the field here today, I'll take you into the digital dark room and we'll see how this R8 does with this 200 to 800 lens. I'm shooting only in full frame mode. There is a crop mode, but the megapixel count is so low in crop mode. I might throw one in there just to get an idea on what it looks like, but I'm gonna be shooting this in full frame mode. So we'll check in in a minute. So there's absolutely no way you're gonna see it, but the Kingfisher is out there. And it actually was chasing, there's a red-bellied woodpecker. I'll see if I can zoom in and post. So one thing about this Osmo, it's not the greatest, but the Kingfisher, was chasing the red-bellied, and then a bluebird came and chased the red-bellied. So now the red-bellied, man, I wish I, I might take some video on the cannon, there goes the kingfisher. But the red-bellied is on the same, or sorry, red-headed woodpecker. Red-headed woodpecker's on the same tree. And I just kind of lost the kingfisher, but yeah, this is the same spot. Turns out to be usually a pretty good spot. If you just sit and wait, that's the thing. You kind of have to be patient. There's a lot of different spots, and there goes that red-headed woodpecker. But you kind of pick a spot, sit, and wait. For me, that seems to yield the best results. So yeah, I'm gonna grab some more shots of that woodpecker and probably some video with this R8 just to see how it does handheld. I can't imagine that 800 millimeters is gonna be great, but I'll throw some video in there as well. All right, well, that's gonna do it from Lake Betts. Just got a good shot of the Kingfisher. He was up close, but yeah, this Canon R8 struggles a little bit, focus at times. A little bit frustrating, 
we got the settings set up pretty well, I think. But let's go back in the digital darkroom, take a look at some of the shots, and I'll give you my thoughts on this Canon R8 with the Canon RF 200-800. Okay, just wanted to show you a few of the pictures here. This is the tree swallow. These, these are the raw files, but I'm going to zoom in and just show you how things look. So this is, as it was exposed, just hit it with a quick auto. And at 100%, you can see really good clarity. Even at 300%, which nobody's going to zoom into 300%. But yeah, very nice. No complaints about the image quality. Here's a Canada Goose. This is at 1600 or 2000 ISO, just so you know. And again, this is no noise reduction. Still looks pretty good. At higher ISOs, we actually got a Sandpiper. And I hadn't seen a Sandpiper in a while. And this is overexposed, but basically we can bring that down. And here is 300%. Did pretty well. I actually saw a killed deer as well. So here's the killed deer. I was standing there talking to another photographer, and the killed deer showed up, as well as the green heron, which I was looking for in search of. And you can see, again, this is 300%. Pretty crisp details there. So all in all, pretty good. I would say it did struggle with autofocus sometimes, although in some spots where it was really hard to get focus, it grabbed it. In other spots where it was obvious, like on this heron, it didn't. I had to actually help it with the lens so you can set the lens to be focused. I got it close and then the camera kicked in. I'm going to add some video at the end here. So this is at 800 millimeters handheld with enhanced IS on. Get out there and have your photo gear fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing. And again, stay tuned for the video of the redheaded woodpecker handheld at 800 millimeters. Thanks for watching.